Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Conan the Barbarian Ultimates Demigod Serpent Thulsa Doom figure from Super 7. Great movie, great character, and honestly, how many figures of James Earl Jones do we have? Uh, not many, but I can think of off the top of my head, so... <laughs> uh, absolutely great figure, so let's take a look at it. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, Thulsa Doom looks absolutely incredible. Uh, again, it's Super 7, and I'm not sure Four Horsemen did the sculpt here. Uh, I'm kind of guessing they did. It definitely seems their style. And uh, yeah, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, obviously a lot of soft goods here and they just, they look great. It's, I mean, looks screen accurate. They're very, I mean, layered. Here you got this little piece with the kind of the crossovers uh, here at the chest and you know, all the designs onto the robes themselves. Uh, I got some nice details here on the belt uh, with a nice gradient and uh, yeah, it just looks really good. And then we come to the back and we have the, the kind of cape piece which has a really nice weight to it too. It just kind of feels, feels nice, it feels quality. Uh, then we get to that face sculpt and you know, looks just like James Earl Jones and uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful silver and red here on the, uh, the headpiece. So, uh, oh, and nice gold here on the necklace. So just really well done all around. As for under the soft goods, um, I believe most of this is just the sculpt that they used for the, um, the original Thulsa Doom release, the one with, with all of his armor. Uh, as you can see the pants and the belt there, uh, except for the feet, obviously it's changed a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I was going to take this off just to kind of see the full sculpt, because uh, you can tell that the bracers are here too, because they're kind of po poking out there. Um, but uh, this, I already regret trying to take the belt off because I can't get it to refasten properly. Uh, so definitely something worth noting if you are also curious. <laughs> Um, cause yeah, after I did that and I just I have not been able to reseal it. So I'm probably going to have to figure out some other method right now. It's kind of sticking to the fabric itself, which kind of has a, um, it's nice and light, but with all the printing and stuff, it's, it's got kind of like a bit of a stickiness that that'll, I mean, when combined with the rubber here on the belt. So, uh, yeah, that is definitely worth noting, but overall for aesthetics, just absolutely beautiful. And this being a Super 7 Ultimate, of course we get a great loadout of accessories. And uh, so let's start off with the heads and right in the box, we get that James Earl Jones portrait. Uh, again, just looks great, fantastic likeness. The other one is the one that I will be keeping on the figure. Uh, and that is the serpent head, uh, looks great, fantastic sculpt. Uh, not only that, but the jaw is articulated as well. And you can see the inside of the mouth is done. So uh, just really well done there. One thing worth noting though, is that the, uh, probably not gonna show up here, but the uh, the hole at the top of this head where it plugs in is not, it doesn't snap as the uh, the human head does. So worth noting, uh, so it just kind of moves around a little more freely. I don't know if that's just mine, probably not. Uh, so just be aware of it, because I kept just trying to push it down, just was not working. Uh, then we get the, uh, I believe this was from the end of the movie. Again, it's been over 20 years, but <laughs> uh, so we get, you know, him as a serpent coming out of the hood. So there we go. So very similar sculpt to the head uh, and still just that excellent silver and red. It's very, very striking. Then we get hands. So right out of the box, we get these kind of just praying arms straight out, chopping hands. Then we get a couple of fists and we get some gripping hands. These ones with a uh, horizontal hinge and then we get a couple of gripping hands with vertical hinge and I love that Super 7 does this and uh, and speaking of things to grip we get his bow and his uh, bow uh, with an actual string uh, so you can see that actually got that's got some really nice give to it uh, looks fantastic again same shade of gold uh, some nice detailing please pardon the lack of focus here um, and because my lighting's weird because my phone is so far up uh, but as you can see a little bit of the details there so really nicely done basic enough but definitely looks good and uh, then we get I believe this was an arrow that's an actual snake I mean hilarious in concept and uh, looks awesome again pardon me lack of focusing here uh, zoom in on that head does not want to I apologize for that there we go. It's a little bit better. Uh, part of my dry hands as well, uh, but some good detailing there. And then finally we get the snake dagger. 
which absolutely beautiful metallic silver on there. Great detailing on the snakes and uh, just a brown handle. So just really, really good looking piece. And I believe this came with the, uh, the other Balsa Doom as well. So that's accessories. When it comes to articulation, uh, the ultimates are usually not like just incredible. A lot of like single joints and stuff like uh, yeah, like elbows and knees and all that. Uh, so not an incredible amount of range, however, definitely serviceable. And uh, again, just kind of straying that or straddling that line between sculpt and uh, articulation. So getting into that, we are in a ball joint for the head, um, but because of this, this head piece, uh, we're gonna get some decent down, uh, not too much up, and uh, we're gonna get even, even less with the snake head, uh, as you might imagine. Uh, but we do get eh, the slightest bit of tilt. And then on the arms, we're coming up to just about our T-pose. Uh, normally I would have taken the soft goods off, but again, the, this, this definitely seems like it's gonna be too much of a hassle and this belt is kind of driving me nuts, <laughs> uh, unfortunately. But uh, so we're coming up to our T-pose. We do have biceps swivel, you can feel that in there. Uh, our elbows are single jointed, but they're very bulky. So we're not even gonna hit 90 there. Uh, we are hinge and swivel at the wrist. Again, everything is horizontal with the exception of the other, the gripping hands are specifically with that. We do have an ab crunch. You can hear it in there, kind of see it moving. And uh, so we're getting about that far forward, about that far back. I'll get the hand out of the way. Uh, again, the clothes are kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of hide that. <laughs> then we get our swivel, belt's like coming off here, and then come down to the hips and full splits. I mean, you know, that's another feature of the Ultimates. They're pretty much all full splits. Uh, then we do have our thigh swivel in that assembly as well. So you can see that. Uh, we are single jointed at the knees. Again, very bulky, so we're not quite coming up to 90. Uh, nothing at the boot cut, uh, but we do have some really nice point, some really decent forward, uh, and some rocker, which also serves as rotation. So that's kind of your, your boot swivel. So that is articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with a couple other Ultimates figures. And for those curious, with some uh, Motu Masterverse and Motu Classics. With some Hasbro. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on Demigod Serpent False of Doom is that it's a really good figure. Uh, if you know what you're getting into with Ultimates, especially with the somewhat limited articulation and such, um, you know, you, you, I guess, know what you're in for, especially now that you've watched the review. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it if you are a fan of Conan, if you are a fan of um, the Conan movies, specifically with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course. Um, if you are just a fan of reptilian and reptilian humanoid figures as yours truly, uh, absolutely pick this up. Uh, and I believe it is available still on um, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, and those so sort of sites. So uh, I will be including links in the description below for where you can pick up yours. So please check those out. Uh, and with that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. Uh, and beyond that, there will be other ways to help the channel listed in the description below as well. So please, please, please check those out. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, ultra thanks to you one last time for watching. And I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.